Let's talk about one of the coolest things on the market right now, Song Start Kits. They are designed to work with single stage or two stage compressors. Now, if you've ever had your lights flickering in your house when your AC turns on, that's because your compressor is taking such a massive amount of power at that initial startup that it's gonna drain a little bit of power from the rest of the house and you're gonna see that in your lights flickering. What this does is actually helps the compressor turn on without that massive hit of power at the very beginning of the cycle. This unit will actually limit the current going through your start winding and use your existing capacitor to start your compressor up easier. This will reduce the stress on your house electrical system and the noise coming off the compressor when it starts up. These soft start kits are also ideal if you have a whole home generator. Why is that? Well, your generator is only running so hard so it can produce the power that your house is currently asking for. And when you have a big machine turn on that requires a lot of power, you're going to hear that generator ramp up because it's like, hey, I need to start producing way more than I already am. And that initial hit from the compressor turning on wasn't something the generator was prepared for. On generator power, with one of these installed in your AC, the generator is going to see an increase in amperage, but slowly compared to all at once. So when is the best time to put a soft start kit in your system? Well, it's actually as soon as you can. The sooner you install a soft start kit, the sooner you stop the stress on the motor and you increase the efficiency of the compressor. Whenever you increase the efficiency, you decrease the stress, meaning that your expensive piece of equipment that's sitting out in the yard will actually last longer. So the first thing we do when we come to the outdoor unit is we look for the LRA on the tag. This is a three and a half ton temp star. We look right here, 120 LRA. We're gonna look at the back of the box for the LRA. This one is 85 amps. This one maximum is 180. So we're going to go with the 5010-21. This new start is designed to fit inside of the cabinet. The best place I found to do that is right up here. Now before I mount that, I want to see and check the inrush amps on this compressor so we have a baseline. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this over to AC amps. We're going to set this to inrush. Set it up so I can use my phone hook up and we're gonna test this out real quick and get some numbers so with no soft start kit on this unit we are running <sighs> 128 in rush amps I pulled the disconnect powers off let's get this thing installed all right I clean this up to make it look a little bit prettier so we're gonna go ahead and mount the back plate that's not going anywhere let's go ahead and put the device in First thing we're gonna do is set up the run side of the compressor, strip off this fork. So we're gonna strip back the wire and attach one of the ferrules that they sent for us so we have a nice solid connection. Crimp this on. So the run side of the compressor goes to the run winding of the star kit. Next up is a brand wire, two different ends. This end is going to go to the common side of our capacitor. The straight end is going to go into run capacitor RC of our start kit. Next up we have our black wire. Same thing as the brown, except this time you're going to need a thermostat screwdriver because it's going to the green plug over here under compressor common. So it's going to go to the common side of our contactor. Like I said, the stake on side is going to go to the common side of our contactor. Same thing with the blue wire. Your straight side is going to go into the green terminal under start winding. And then your stake on side is going to go to the hermetic side of your run capacitor. So you're probably wondering about the jumper wire between the contactor and the capacitor. We're actually going to take that one out entirely and we're going to replace it with this red wire. This red wire is going to go into the start kit terminal under active. The other side of the red wire is going to go into the run side of your contactor. Now let's go over this real quick. Top to bottom we have our black wire compressor common over to the common side of our contactor. Below that we have our blue start winding that hit goes over to the hermetic start side of the compressor. We have our red wire which is our active T2 wire which goes to our T2 side of the contactor. We have our brown run wire which goes to the common side of our capacitor and then we have our yellow run winding which is actually the yellow wire going to the compressor. Now that it's all wired up let's start it up and test it out. Now that we have the new start hooked up we can go ahead and test the compressor start winding to see what our inrush amperage is. Moment of truth. 47.5. Unreal. That's a huge difference. I gotta give it to New Calgon on this one. 128 inrush amps down to 47. 
that is unreal. That is going to put way less stress on the electrical system of the house. The lights are going to stop blinking, and the <laughs> basically the uh, the generator when it turns on is not even going to notice. This is a heck of a product, and I'm so happy to be testing this thing right now. These soft start kits need to be installed on everything because this is a heck of a product. This system right here is actually my buddy's system, and it's having problems blowing fuses on startup. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the smaller new start kit on this unit and see what our amperage turns out to be when we test the inrush. We're going to record the inrush amperage before the new start. Fifty nine point eight. Let's go ahead and put it in and see what it does. So we got the new start all hooked up. Thanks train for leaving such a small compressor wire. But let's go ahead and check the inrush amps. Just a quick little test. Twenty seven point seven. That is a huge upgrade. This new start kit is definitely going to help my friends out. They're not going to have to worry about their unit blowing fuses and their lights won't dim when the unit turns on. So all in all, I think this is a huge win. Thank you to New Calgon for sending these out. If you want to check them out, I will have a link down below in the description.